Hi guys, welcome to Piece of Code. Um, so we are going to continue with our OCA crash course, and uh, today is a you know fourth lecture. So uh, we are going to cover a very important topic um, that you need to know before actually going uh, into the exam. That is uh, code formatting in the exam. Uh, it's very very important. So we are going to cover that today. So before going into this topic, let me just show you one more example of how to create packages in Java. Because we left that in our last session as the video was learning too long. So it's really easy to create an um, you know package in Java. Just uh, go over to your Eclipse and uh, in your SRC folder, just right click, then go to new and then go to package. You can name your package um, as for the standards that I told you in the last lecture. That is basically your domain name in reverse and then your child packages like for example, com.amazon. Um, something something, let's say Java 8, something like that. But for now, I want to keep it simple. So I'm just going to name this um, new package as package example or something like that. All right. And uh, basically, it's really easy to create a new class in your package. Just go to your package, right click and then new class and just name the class as anything. So just let let me name it as example. Example package or something like that. Let me just click on finish. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that um, you need to specify the package name. It should be the first line in your code whenever you are writing a class in a package. You need to identify that yes, this particular class belongs to this particular package. So it is written there. And uh, basically, if you want to use this example package class in some other package, you just need to import this class in another package like we learned in our last session, right? Just need to do, for example, import. Uh, what is the package name package? Package example dot example package. So the package name dot class name. So wherever you want to use this example package class, you just need to write this here so that mm, it will import this example package class inside that particular class where you want to use it. All right. So that's all I wanted to cover about creating new packages. And that's all you need to know about it for the exam. And uh, feel free to play around with packages and imports as much as you want. All right, let's go to the topic in hand that is code formatting in the exam. Now, not all questions will include the imports. That is very important to understand. And if the exam isn't asking about imports in the question, it will often omit the imports to save space. You'll see examples with line numbers that don't begin with one in this case. So the question is telling you, right, don't worry. Imagine the code we omitted is correct. Okay, just focus on what I'm giving you. So this means when you do see the line number one or no line numbers at all, you have to make sure imports are not missing. That is very important to understand. Another thing the exam does to save space, right, is to merge code on the same line. Uh, you should expect to see code like the following, like in this following example, you can expect to see the coding questions like this. All right. And uh, you, you, you will be asked whether it compiles or not. And don't worry, you will learn about array list in chapter, you know, in the later chapters and uh, basically assume that part is good for now. Don't worry about that. So basically, if you see over here, in this in this first example uh, over in this year um the answer here is that it does compile because the code starts below with the imports right so basically it says that yes um this code starts with the imports because it starts with the line number 6 it doesn't start from line number 1 now what about this one over here does it compile for this one, you would answer doesn't compile, does not compile, right? Since the code begins with line one, you don't get to assume that valid imports were provided earlier. The exam will let you know what package classes are in unless they are covered in the objectives. 
all right you will be expected to know um, array list in java.util that is very simple to understand at least you will once uh, you know get to you know uh, know this thing when we are going to cover array list so don't worry about that but for now just understand that it is present in the java.util package all right now also another thing to keep in mind uh, is that uh, this code doesn't have a main method so um, when this happens right assume the main method class definition and all necessary imports are present you are just being asked if the part of the code that you are shown compiles when dropped into valid surrounding code so you don't have to worry about any other thing so the main takeaway from this lecture is that when your code starts with number one line all right and there are no imports over here you need to say that it doesn't compile because it starts with line number one and it makes sense because if a particular class starts from line number one and it uses some kind of class that needs an import and it is not present then um, it, it will throw compilers in error but in the case where uh, your line number starts from other than one so you don't know whether uh, it has been imported or not so you have to assume and also the exam objective also states that you have to assume in that case that the imports are there also be very very wary of this particular code formatting where they try to line every write everything in a single line they don't follow any kind of id where you know the code formatting is present so make sure you are very very careful while you are reading the code all right guys so that was the most important thing that i wanted to discuss in this lecture uh, i wanted to keep it short so that you guys will understand um, what is the importance of code formatting because it can save you a lot of time because time is very very important for the exam so yeah that's it uh, that's it for this uh, session guys um, i'm going to see you in the next lecture we are going to start a new topic which is known as objects and it is very very important all right so yeah that's it from my side bye bye